Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had those Haitians that are eating cats in Springfield, smash that subscribe button. Go and have them smash it right now. Also, today I added a new video on the Patreon, a video of Elfie Sosa stabbing Spider from Monrovia. Holy shit, Hector, what do you know about that? So if you're a patron, I love you. Thank you. You're the heartbeat of this channel. If you have any video footage of any stabbings, riots, or assaults, feel free to send them to me via tormenttactical at gmail.com or my Instagram. Stay tuned for your well-deserved shout-out at the end. This motherfucking episode right here, man. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll, okay, with these new young correctional officers that have been fucking set up for failure, have been absolutely set up for failure by everyone and everything. And I'm on a roll, okay? I showed you guys in little 15-minute videos. I already told you guys how you guys can get a hold of me. How not to get killed. That one's easy. Don't be a victim. How not to fuck your partners over. If you get a promotion or you're acting, know your place. Your place is not better than anybody else. Never will be. Look at how I talk shit to wardens, associate directors, and the secretary. You think, that, you think they're powerful people? Nah. <laughs> Thirdly, how not to let inmates escape, okay? So if you're a young CEO, you, in your little brain, sorry, I hate to talk down to you guys, but it's just holy shit, man. In your brain, just remember these three, three, these three things and you're going to be all right as a correctional officer. One, do not allow myself to get killed. Two, do not allow the inmates to kill each other. And if they begin, stop it immediately and render aid. Three, do not allow the inmates to jump the fucking fence and escape. Period. Well, Hector, what if we have to remember the pronouns of the transgenders? Those three things. Well, Hector, what if we have to inventory our chemicals and make sure that they're within ACA, American Accreditation Act? Those three things. In the CDCR, what about the California model, Hector? They really want me to play handball with inmate Dominguez and RHU. Don't do it. Those three things, right? Those three things. You're going to be, in your career, you're going to be bombarded with bullshit. So much bullshit. And if you, if you have good supervisors, their job is to filter the bullshit, right? As the lieutenant, oh, I got a lot of bullshit. And I used to tell the officers, what do they need to know? What do they not need to know? Oh, I know. Don't get killed. Don't let the inmates kill each other. Don't let the inmates jump the fence. Oh, damn, you're the best LT. More pizza? Yeah, I got another write-up. I got another write-up. All right, that's the backstory. Three minutes in. This fucking episode is about how I came across having unrestrained inmates when they should not have been unrestrained, meaning they didn't have handcuffs on when they should have had handcuffs on, all right. I was fortunate enough that my dad, my father, was a correctional officer at Sentinel State Prison, started in 1993, okay. I was fortunate enough for him to school me. Now, he wasn't always schooling me, right? He was just, what I needed to know, boom, he would let me have it, right? Boom, oh, okay, dude, cool, cool, thank you. He told me about one time when you're out at the hospital, never, never, never take the restraints off of an inmate. Never. You call the watch commander. Cool. And I'm glad he told me that because I as a young, uh, how the fuck am I supposed to know? I mean, yeah, common sense would tell you don't unrestrain an inmate out in the hospital. But then again, I posted a video on my IG this morning. Go check it out. Hector underscore underscore Bravo. In, in the year, fuck. 2007, eight, better yet, 2008, because I was living in La Mesa at the time. I didn't move to Chula Vista until 2009. In the year 2008, an inmate at Sentinella on Charlie Yard, level four GP killers, a white dude got stabbed. Where did he get stabbed? He got stabbed in the fucking, oh, <laughs> he got stabbed right here in the throat. Right, I'll tell you the story. He got stabbed right here in the throat. Probably a couple times, but for sure right here. At the time, I was lean and mean fighting machine. It's fucking almost fucking 18, 17 years ago. As you can tell, I'm still fucking lean and mean. Hint, hint, hint. Stay in shape. No reason to let yourself go. 
you have to weigh under a certain amount of you have to be under fucking 210 or you have to be under 250 pounds to be able to fly in an airplane or a helicopter in a medevac uh, life flight with an inmate to wherever they need to fly them to. San Diego. Well, I was fucking young, lean. Um, hey, tag, you're it. Cool. I, I, want, I volunteered. It was like con air in my head, right? <laughs> That's a cool fucking experience. They tell me your partner's going to meet you over there in San Diego. Go ahead and go to the hospital. So I went with the inmate to the hospital. We went to El Centro. White dude was stabbed. Then we got in an ambulance and we drove to Imperial Airport. From Imperial Airport, we boarded a little airplane. It wasn't a helicopter. It was a little tiny airplane. And the inmate's in there and it's me and him. And I do have my cell phone because I'm on my cell phone when I wasn't supposed to. 08. And the inmate's like, hey, can I use your cell phone to call my mom? I'm going to die. And I'm like, no. Right. I don't know if they sedated him or not. I wasn't being a dick. He just definitely was not going to use my cell phone. Ever. Per the rules. Damn, heck, you weren't following the rules. Per the rules. Then we land where we land. Then we end up at the hospital. I'm not going to say which one. It's not really important. It's a trauma center. The dude was restrained, waist restraints. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what waist restraints are, man, they're like fucking, what do they call them, billy chains? or uh, They have a handcuff right here. They, have a, uh, they're, they're, they go a little chain link around your waist. Then you got the leg, leg restraints, the big old things that go around your ankles. Dude was restrained for sure. So the, do- the nurses are doing what they're doing on him. And they initially tell him it's not a big deal. It's not serious. So I'm sitting there. Fucking brand spanking you. And then they start hitting him with the saline. Right? That cleaning uh, cleaning solution. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. Heck, it's getting hot in here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm fucking the heater on. Hold on. Nah, no mames. He starts going. <laughs> <laughs> this was before the hog tour, right? And he goes, what's that taste? And the nurse goes, you can taste that? He's like, yeah, what is that? She's like, oh, my God. We have to rush him upstairs. <laughs> I'm a dick. This is, called, this is part of being, what's it called? When you have a sick sense of humor, uh, when you've been seeing too much trauma and too much bullshit, you just laugh it off so it doesn't hurt so bad, right? <laughs> oh fuck so she's like we gotta rush him up <sighs> we gotta rush him up to the emergency room well you should have seen the poor inmate's eyes man it, it, reality hit that dude he was like oh <laughs> this dude this dude thought he was gonna die right I didn't know if he was or he wasn't nobody really knew motherfucking esophagus got fucking punctured right <laughs> clearly that's why he was tasting the fucking saline I don't really got hit like over here off to the side. Either way, he shouldn't have been tasting drinking. <laughs> he shouldn't have been drinking water from right here, right? He has a vodka. Vodka's not down here. Your vodka's up here. Anatomy fucking lesson. Mouth. That's mouth for you fucking white folk. He has a mouth up here. The mouth shouldn't be drinking from right here, right? <laughs> Hello. I quit smoking 25 years ago. Anyways, those were some weird commercials too growing up. But uh, I remember the doctors like, hey, you have to, you have to uh, take off these restraints right now. I remember what my dad told me. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And I was like, I'm going to call the watch commander, right? So I called the watch commander. Hey, hey sir, it's uh, officer so-and-so um, here at the hospital. They rushed the enemy to surgery. And they want me to remove the handcuffs. He's like, well, did you look in the hospital kit? <laughs> See if there's a pair of flex cuffs. I don't remember if there was or there wasn't. Um, either way, some fucking how we got a hold of some flex cuffs, right? Those are the, the, the plastic ones. And we in turn put those on. Did I have a, I didn't have a fucking partner because my partner had not arrived yet. How sketchy is that? And put the fucking flex cuffs on, dude. 
took off the other restraints, but the whole time he was restrained. Understand what I'm saying? I put the flex cuffs on first, first. Plus, believe me when I tell you, the dude was out of it. They sedated him. The motherfucker was out cold. Like, <laughs> they hit him with something to put him asleep. And um, put the, re right, and I did it correctly because I was taught well by my dad and by other correction officers. You guys don't have that anymore, right? You have Big Daddy Bravo fucking schooling you. So take that, take that lesson, right? Now these, that was a good, good story, right? And I'm not saying it's a good story because I was involved. I'm telling you where the credit goes. The credit goes to my dad for fucking putting me up on game, okay? I got a leg up, so to say. Oh, God. El Central Hospital. I was, uh. And I'm not even bad-mouthing these cops because they're OG. They're dinosaurs. They were fucking legends back then when I fucking uh, started. So now they're probably the tales of the Crypt Keeper. But when I started, they already had fucking hash marks up to here. Um, so who the fuck am I to tell them what to do, right? That's a sketchy thing. If you're new and you see your partners that have a lot of time in, just be prepared. This can, you can see this happening. You may, this may occur. I just posted a picture again on my Instagram. Look at all those hash marks on that cop's fucking uh, sleeve. An inmate from Charlie Yard, Sentinella, level 4 GP. And I know this because he had his fucking escape sheet and it said Charlie Yard. Level 4 it said Lifer. Fuck. It said Lifer on there. He didn't get stabbed. He was there for some type of medical treatment. <laughs> Probably asked for an MRI. Got an MRI the same day. You know how it goes. But if you're a CO, you can wait three years for an MRI to get processed. That's the truth. Not even talking shit. I had the 38 revolver. This is what pissed me off is that I had the 38 revolver, meaning I would have had to use it, not, not my partner. So he, I feel like he put me in a bad fucking spot, which he did. So he was, that inmate was going to go into the CAT scan machine, CAT scan, MRI, whatever the fucking machine that has the fucking magnets. So the doctor tells us, take off the restraints. Oh, I know better. I'm not going to fucking take off the restraints. But then I see my partner get up and he starts taking off the restraints, right? Straight up without nothing else. And I'm like, hey, right? Like trying to be respectful because he's an OG. For sure he's an OG dinosaur type. Fucking top fucking three in seniority. Top three in seniority. Top three in seniority. No, one, two. He would eventually make it to top three. Yeah, at the time, he probably had to have been top 20 for sure in seniority. Maybe even top 10. Dude fucking had a lot of time in. I get the fucking escape card and I show him and I just point with my finger. Charlie R. Level 4, lifer. And he's just like. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, nah, no mommy's way. Because I'm like, I'm going to have to shoot this inmate. You guys were wondering, probably don't. If you guys fucking uh, wondering in California, you probably never don't know about prison. You're probably like, damn, why is Hector tripping about having unrestrained inmates at the hospital? Do you really need me to embellish on that? Do you really need me to put an emphasis on why it's not a good idea to leave convicted felons, level four killers without handcuffs out in the public? Not even, it doesn't matter about level fours. These guys were level fours for sure. But even a level one, a level two, a level three, a level four. Do I need to tell you why it's never a good idea to leave a motherfucker unrestrained out in the public? No, Hector, you don't need to tell us. Okay, I can move forward. So... He unrestrains him. The inmate looks. I look. I'm pit. My butthole's clenching. My, what was, what was that, G? Your butthole was what, G? <laughs> no, that wasn't my partner. But anyways, luckily, thank God, the inmate didn't do nothing. I was sweating bullets the whole time. The dude comes out, put him in restraints immediately. I didn't say nothing to my partner. I was fucking pissed. I was fucking pissed, right? God fucking forbid the dude would have fought. God forbid something horrible would have happened. Then how would I have explained that? Uh, number one, I'm not a rat, right? I'm not a rat. So for them to pull me into some type of OIA investigation and say, well, Hector, how the fuck did that inmate come, can become unrestrained, right? I wouldn't feel comfortable saying, well, my partner fucking unrestrained him. That would be ratting. So it's like, ah, damn, I got to get fucked, fired, go thrown in prison. I'll be this fucking idiot doesn't know what to do, right? With a million years in the department. The other owner of that Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility, worst place on earth. 
Bravo Yard at the time was SNY. Bravo Yard, formerly known as the Two Yard for all you OG veteranos that used to go through on parole violations. The Two Yard. You, you have ADSEG in the back, Housing Unit 6, Housing Unit 7, Building 6, Building 7. You have a long ass yard, fucking yard the size of two fucking football fields, maybe three, fucking forever can't even see the other people on the other side of the yard they're like tiny little ants i never seen yards so damn big well i touched down at donovan in 2015 as a brand new sergeant at the time i had eight years in the department right i didn't promote after two years you guys could go ahead and do that now it doesn't matter everything's lost they used to escort inmates from the side gate on the track, in restraints, through a bunch of other inmates to the to ASU, ADSEG. And I'm like, what the hell? I seen videos like this back in the day. Like, how the fuck are you guys still doing this old school ass technique? Like, this shit's making me get the heebie jeebies. Again, do you guys need me to explain why it's not a good idea to escort handcuffed ADSEG, who could be GP? This dude was GP in the story I'm about to tell you. Across a yard full of SNYs. With no gates, just free motherfucking inmates running the track. Hey, go take it to the yard. Take it to the yard. They must, those CEOs weren't even telling them to take it to the yard. Motherfucking inmates just running by, handcuffed GPs. In. It, it was fucking sketchy. It was sketchy. So I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was on my way to AdSec for some fucking reason. It, somehow, I'm a, somehow I'm alongside an escort of a GP inmate, level three GP. <laughs> on an SNY yard and the dude is in handcuffs and he's going to the hole ad seg placement so I'm right there with the two cops I don't even know who the two cops were it doesn't even matter and I hear one cop tell the other I hear one CO tell the other CO hey let me get my cuffs let's switch out the cuffs right so again common sense tells you if you have an inmate in handcuffs I think he was cuffed in the front like I told you Donovan is so fucking Everybody handcuffs inmates in the front. It's, 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 too, it's too much. It's too much. You can see why I left, right? I want to say the dude was handcuffed in the front, right? Of course. Why wouldn't he be? Why wouldn't he be? Also, if you're a new CEO, never, 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 never handcuff an inmate in the front. Well, heck, what if he has a cane? Get waist restraints. Never. Wherever prison you work at for the rest of your life, never handcuff an inmate in the front. Ever. What if he's a fucking asshole? Never handcuff an inmate in the front. What if he's a big guy? He has big ass shoulders like you, Hector. Get two handcuffs. Get two handcuffs and put them behind his fucking back. They do be having big ass shoulders. Get two handcuffs or get waist restraints. Never handcuff a fucking inmate in the front. I'd probably just save your fucking life. You don't even know it. So the CO tells the other CO, hey, I'm going to switch out the cuffs. In my head, I'm like, oh, that's easy. We do that shit all day long, right? <laughs> You get your cuffs, you put them on the inmate, <laughs> then you take the other cuffs off. Man, oh, mom. Hector, now we know why you have ED, bro. Now you know why we have ED. I probably got officers from Calipat being like, nah, no mommy's way. As they're doing the California model on Charlie Yard with no inmates. Anyways, yeah, sure shit. They take off the inmates' handcuffs. They didn't do what I just said they were going to do. They, they, he just took off the motherfucker's handcuffs. <laughs> you have a GP inmate, GP, general population, <laughs> unrestrained, on a net, standing in the fucking track of an SNY yard full of SNY inmates while the dude is on his way to ADSEG. Fucking now, ad sick placement, which he should be in handcuffs, fucking 24 7, 365, unless he's getting out of his cell. <laughs> nah, no, mommy's way. I hope I showed you guys what not to do. Please don't do it. Somebody's gonna escape on you, somebody's gonna kill you. You're not gonna like it. With that, this episode was sponsored by the growing, humongous following list of patrons. If you haven't signed up, you're definitely missing out. Nalgas Asadas, Dodger Man 83, keep pushing forward.
89 made me john wick abuelita's journey abuelita's irma seals gone wild 69 eddie 3609 you're a long way from starbucks homie el batman americano ali cameras are for the officers bullshit <laughs> cameras are for the officers bullshit fuck it Ismael, Terry, Puro Pinchy Party, Giselle, Tarvin, Carlos, Ramiro de Leon, The Hound, Miss R, Milkers, Danners on my feet. I don't give two chits. La Primera, play at your own risk, 209. That Chanate Warrior, William, Rigoberto, Theo, 949 Desmadrosos, Menace to Society, A-Rod, Chris, Lizniak, Nisi B, I don't know, I'm not the regular, A La Verga, 209, Jesus, The Homie Turtle 13, Pachanga, 209, Darlene from Santa Ana, F your mandates, write me up. VSP Yeti, Sabatino, Adalberto, Mercenary Mindset. Any reason I can't hold you? Fontaine, Dixon, McCrary, Kevin. Let me guess. It was a blue card. <laughs> what a dick. I don't even want to repeat that. I don't want to repeat that. I don't want to repeat that. Let me guess. It was a blue card. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Program time. Hey, I'm just medical. On to page number two. You guys are trying to get me in a wreck. Get fucked. Take it home. Carnalito. Treatment not time. And force fit. My outdoor activity. GG. 11. Bravo. The legend himself. Don Chicharo. Shut the fuck up and make it wink. A la verga. 760. Miss Scorpio Rising. Miss Raw. Geo. G Ride. Vote news come out. The prison psychologist. Fuerte 84. Zeus. Michigan Wolverines, I have an eight-hour chrono, put me out six south, a wall like Monty, one bad yard, but a Cherokee cat, I gave you five chits and you gave me two back. <laughs> check the extra, check the radio, check the baton holder, check, check back there. Ah, well, okay, it's just a J. You can go to the fucking locksmith and get more. Loco Moku, the big bad wolf, Raider 62, L. Eli Gerardo, Rigo with Deep, Pelon 1205. Who's doing the pipe? Denise, the real McCoy, not the fake McCoy. JB Smooth, the Pogan is six pack. CO, CO, the Narcan don't work. My Sally is down. Man, down. CO. <laughs> I put a little emphasis on this. Pretend I'm an inmate behind my little glass window. CO. No, on the side of the crack of the cell. Greñas. CO, CO. My Narcan. <laughs> CO! CO! My Narcan's not working! Man down! Man down! Right? And then for some reason, when an inmate screams man down, the whole building decides to scream man down. Right? You get there, the fucking inmate's sitting down mad. <laughs> You're a dick, Hector. You're a dick, Hector. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I fucking hate my life. Fuck. Fuck. I should have called in sick today. Fuck. 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 That was me every day. R Ricardo, maladjusted, Ragtoss 5.0, Carmine the Pitbull, Lori, the homie CJ's of all the EOP whisper, fuck your 602, Las Vegas Live Live, Viva Mexico cabrones, lift up your sack, now open your mouth. <laughs> you guys... You guys are fucking wild, man. Lockdown 5, La Reina, Central Coast Tactical, Winston, Tony, El Skid, the OG, Hobie Cat, Lead with Love, one of my phones just went off, Albert 12, Soul Stars Motorcycle Club, support your movement. Shout out to Soul Stars Motorcycle Club. J.I. Claudia Esquiel, Big Bad 48, Nova, Linda, the retired CEO, Marius, Robert, Chavel 66, hey girl, pop me up so I can give you some OJT, Central Controls, there's a code one in my pants and the homie rags, if you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below, you're definitely missing out, I love you, happy Saturday, keep pushing forward.